done, thank you. Uh, I was just checking to see if it's recording, and it is. <laughs> True story, yesterday was not recording for the entire intro. No. no. Yeah, yeah, oh, I came in full costume, everything. They're like, oh my god, I'm like, let's start. And then one person's like, looking at the thing, and it's like, wasn't recording. You should like, re-record the, the we, CGI and the laugh track. We did re-record it as if it never happened. That's and it really was, funny. It was funny, it was like, hi everyone, welcome! And they're like, whoa, who are you? It was cool. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about expected value. It's a very, uh, oh wait, first of all, yay math! Yay math! Nice. I hung longer than I expected. Um, today we're going to be talking about expected value. It's a very interesting topic, it's challenging for people, but we're going to explain in really under easy to understand terms, okay? What it means is you have to first understand this scenario, okay? So this scenario is as such. You see it on your paper. All it is is, would you be willing to spend $50 a year as insurance such that if you got too ill to go to college, let's say you took it out next year or the year after, you're in college. Um, if you got too ill to continue your studies, you get a payout of $200,000. So does that sound like a reasonable plan? That sounds fifty dollars. Okay. It does sound reasonable. $50 for a year. Um, as a $200 payout if you get too ill to continue. Yeah. This may be helpful if you have $200 a... $200 for college in the case you get sick. You yeah, you have to pay for college. $2, Sometimes people have young families, you know, right. they could pay for that. They have house payments, rent, food, and things like that. So they're students, they may need to take out an insurance policy if they get ill and they can't work. It sounds pretty good. So it works okay, it sounds good for the consumer. At the same time though, the insurance companies are for profit Right. And there's a lot of news about insurance these days, right, with the healthcare law being passed um, and uh, how they make their money as well. So suppose, suppose research states that one out of 5,000 students actually needs that $200,000. So does that make, is that sort of accurate? Seems like lots and lots and lots of people would buy the plan and out of 5,000 people who bought the plan, one would need the payout. Is that okay? Yeah. Not like a lot of people, but a few people, okay? So, let's see what it says, multiplying. So what happens is, if you multiply the probability, here, do you agree that the probability of getting a payout or actually getting a payment from this plan is one out of 5,000, and the payout itself, we can call this the outcome. You're welcome to write that down if you want. This is the outcome, and this is the probability. Bless you. If you multiply the outcome times the probability, this becomes the expected value. $40. Bless. So, this is what the $40 means. Let's explain it. Let me explain. Expected value. Expected value. Thanks for asking. Expected value. So suppose I want to get an average of how much I give. I'm the insurance company. If I'm the insurance company, I want to get an average of what I give to each person. So what am I giving to someone who doesn't get any money? Who doesn't give any money? Doesn't zero. Get any, zero. So suppose you have my insurance plan, you get zero. And you get zero. And you get zero. And you get zero. Zero, 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 but one out of 5,000 gets 200 grand. Does that make sense? Yeah. So I'm basically averaging zero, 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 4,999 4, times, and then 200,000. What's the average payout per person? $40. $40. $40. <coughs> This is the average. Now we're getting close to it. It's not what I'm really paying any people, really. What I'm really paying people is zero, 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 and 200,000. Right. But the average of what I give each person is 40. Mm -hmm. So I'm not really giving people 40, am I? Okay. So if the average of what I'm giving is 40, this is basically my average cost per customer. Each customer costs me roughly $40, okay? So now I know what to charge each person. 50. So I could charge them 50. If I charge 50, what would be my profit per customer? 10. 10. 
And that's how they make their money. That's how they make their money. The risk is so low that you're willing, at the beginning of class you said, I would be willing to pay $50 for this peace of mind. But the risk is so low that you would need that policy such that it's worth it for you. And the risk is spread out among everyone. So the average cost is $40 for the insurance company. And then I get 50 from you, thus I get $10 average profit per person. Clearly I'm getting a lot more. If I give you a zero and I get 50, I'm getting 50 from you, 50 from you, 50 from you, 50 from you. All that money goes towards the 200 I would give that one person. Any questions? Okay, all right, let's see how it works. In other words, it's the average Expected value is the best way I would put it. Average outcome over time. This is how I would look at it. Average outcome over time. So $40 is the average payout. Okay? And it's done by multiplying outcome times probability. That's the formula for it. Outcome times probability. So let's look at this. This is sample data. Car insurance company has determined the probabilities and various claim amounts for drivers your age, 16 to 21, shown below. Okay, so let's look at what this means. What's a claim? The amount of money, the amount of money that a person needs back. for like the insurance. Yeah, the amount of money you get from the insurance company if you have an accident, fender bender, or something, and you say, I'm going to my insurance, and they're going to pay for the cost because I have car insurance. So these are the different amounts of uh, dollar amounts that you would get from the insurance company, okay? And this is the probability of getting that amount. So which is the highest probability here you see? Zero. Zero. The highest probability, I'm saying. Highest probability. 70. 70. So there's a 70% chance that what? Nothing will happen. Nothing will happen. 70% chance. Basically, according, it's not that high. Well done, it's not that high. Notice the age range, 16 to 21, okay? High accident rate. Higher generally, you can say. Yeah. Generally, you can say, you can chalk that up to uh, inexperience or maybe recklessness and things like that right. that are more associated with the younger ages, okay? But 70% of people with insurance, let's say, let's say this is a year, let's say this is probably statistics for a year. 70% of people in this age range file no claims, right? Hopefully that's many of you. You have car insurance, but you're driving around, no accidents, no amount claimed. 15% requires $2,000 from the insurance company, and so forth and so forth, right? 1% at $8,000 and 1% at $10,000, okay? So what is the average amount of money that each person gets? from an insurance company. We have, to calculate. we have to calculate it, yes. And that's what the expected value is. The average amount each person receives. Notice, many people are receiving zero. Some are receiving 2,000. Some are receiving 4,000. A few people are receiving 10,000. On average, let's find out what but each person is receiving. how do we know how many people it's out of? Can we just do times the The probability is already done. They've yeah. done the statistics for us. So this is like 70 out of 100 people. Oh. Right? One out of 100 people. What was your question? That was my question. If we could just use that instead yeah. of doing one over. Outcome times probability. Do you agree that the money that you get is an outcome? And this is the probability. So we can go ahead and multiply each of these. Okay? Oh, so you don't have to go through the literal average. Yeah. No, yeah. That's it's a different type of average. It's a long term average. It's an average outcome over time. If we did this thousands and thousands and thousands of times, the average amount of money given to each person would What's be What's the context of the expected value? Like expected value of what? I don't know. That's it's the average. So basically the idea is... Average outcome over time. It's the average claim amount. It's confusing about just to know which numbers to use. Right on. Because it seems so general. It is very general. It's a general topic. You're right about that. The idea is that if you're the insurance company, you want to know how much each person is receiving on average. Generally, everyone's getting something different. The vast majority get nothing. They just pay for insurance. And they save, drive safely, they get lucky, no one hits them, 
and they're cool. Uh -huh. Some people get a lot of money. Okay. But on average, what does everyone get? The reason they ask that, on average, everyone gets X, is because then they know how much to charge you so that they're not losing money. So do you find the average of all of the claims? Yes, however, this claim counts less because the probability of it's low. Ah. Okay, and so it's a conglomerate, it's a, it's, it's a aggregate of all these, it's a combination. So you just multiply each one? And add all that up, yes. Oh, okay. And add all that up. So what's zero times 0 0.7? Zero. zero. I need help, 0 0.15 times 2K? 300. 300. Four thousand times point oh eight. Three hundred twenty. Three hundred twenty. Five percent of six hundred is that three hundred or six thousand? Is that three hundred? Yeah, three hundred. Three hundred. Very good. One percent of eight thousand is eighty. 80. And one percent of ten thousand is one hundred. All right. And add all these up. One thousand one hundred. Okay, this is the expected value. Oh, so then it's a really good profit. So right. is if this a charge, if they charge more than 1,100 yeah. per year? So what we're gonna do, the challenge of expected value is to shift your perspective from the consumer, which is getting money, to the insurance company, which is paying money. Who could explain what this means in their own words? Please. So that means that the company is, on average, spending $1,100 on every person. Yes, perfect, let's stop there. On average, the insurance company is giving $1,100 per person for all the claims all combined. Is that okay? Is that okay, dude? Mm -hmm. On average. Does the insurance company pay money? Yeah. Yeah, when you call them up, like, I had an accident, um, I need, I need, I went to the shop and I have an estimate. My estimates are roughly $6,000 for my damages to my car. So they give you $6,000. No. They do. They give you $6,000. You call us, I have insurance, I need money to fix my car. Okay. That's the point of insurance. So insurance actually pays money to all these people. Yes? That's like the State Farm commercial where they said I got the you gotta know, be quicker than that with the dollar hanging because the girl, oh, yeah. they gave her money so she's able to pay. Right, right, <laughs> right, right. Totally, it's totally like that. Yeah, insurance company's giving. Insurance company's giving. It's giving all this money. But on average, it gives 1100 per person. So then what do they say to themselves? If on average, we're giving 1100 per person. We wanna charge more than that per year. We wanna charge more than that. How much should this company charge to break even per person? 1100 1, hundred would be breaking even if they charge 1100 But shouldn't they charge more? Yeah. yeah. Yes. No, 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 not as far as profit, but as far as they know, it could be significantly more. So they don't know that it's going to be less. What could be significantly like more? A cushion? Yeah, they need a cushion. Yeah, they need cash. They need a cash base. So yeah, they shouldn't charge just for profit, right? They need to for catastrophic, whatever, something like that. But to break even, they would... They would not charge this for sure. They wouldn't charge this. But the reason I put this question in is to help you understand that this is what they're giving to each person average. Thus, this is what they should charge each person if they want to make zero money and not lose any. Well, they could lose if the probabilities If these change, good. correct. But Assuming these don't change, pretty good. Assuming these don't change. Any questions about how this works? You okay? You okay about this? Yes? I just cool. don't really get the concept. Like, yeah. I understand the math joke, but I don't get the This is really challenging for people to understand. Does the insurance company pay you money when you have an accident? They don't pay you money, but like they give you they pay, money. They pay for it. Okay, yeah. Right. But they really pay you, you know. They pay you. They're like, you have proof your, your car's in the shop. They come take a picture, and they wire you the money. They say, deal with it. Okay? So they pay you. How much do they pay you? Maybe zero if you file no claim, 2,000, 4,000, 6,000. They pay you all different things depending on your accident. Okay. So far so good? Yeah. Okay. I'm the insurance company. I want to know how much am I giving each person average? Are you giving each person a different amount? Yes. I'm because giving. Because like credit scores or something? Or is that 
Well, the, everyone has a different credit score, but I'm giving deep, di each person a different amount based on their claim, based on what their accident is okay. or what happened. So I'm giving 4,000 to 8% of people, I'm giving 6,000 to 5% of people. Okay. On average though, I'm giving 1,100 to each person. Okay. And now I know how much to charge you. If on average, I'm like, on average, she's costing me 1,100 per person. I'm not giving you 1,100, I'm giving you either zero or these or these or these. But if you cost me 1100 per person, if you cost me 1100 average, and I'm the insurance company, I'll charge you more than this. How can I cost you $1,100 if you're giving me 2000 This is an average, very good. I'm not giving you this. You don't actually get this money. It's an average amount. Do you agree some people get 6000 Yeah. Some people get zero? Yeah. So now on average, everyone gets 1100 Okay. That's the idea. Let it sit a bit. Let it sit a bit. Did you have a question? It? It's just that low because of the probability. The it's probability is that right, people right. are getting nothing. Yeah, seventy percent got nothing. That's crazy. But for the ones that it do get, you know, you have to account for that. Okay. It just cool. means when you say they get nothing, it just means that they didn't get in a car crash. Right. They yeah. Any. They don't need exactly. it. Yeah, yeah. But oh, it's not like okay. the insurance. It sounds like. Maybe. Yeah, I thought it meant that they wouldn't be given. Maybe they file a claim and they're denied. That's also included. Well, in this. that depends. Well, you have to take into account your um, your like plan with the yeah. insurance company because sure. not everyone has the same car, the same. Uh, maybe they have a few. Um, maybe they had accidents in the past and that doesn't affect it. Right. And doesn't, your insurance goes up. And yeah. It, this is we're assuming this is like one insurance yeah. company. This is their data for this age group, sixteen to twenty-one. That have clean slates. That. Maybe they do, maybe they don't. But the question is, you're right. This zero does include people who file and get nothing. Oh. Maybe it's like it's your fault, or you've already did one this and year. And that's probably so. why it's seventy percent. Or there's a lot of safe. I can like I think if it was people who never got into a car crash. It would that's be a lot of it. That's a lot of it. I would I would assume a lot of it. Yeah. It's the people that don't get into an accident. Okay. We get your question, yeah. I think like a good way to think about it yeah. is from zero to two thousand, like. 50% of that, that's, I mean, zero to 2,000 in general is 85% yeah. of their customers. Right. So that's pretty much the bulk of their customers. So the bulk of their customers are going to get around zero to $2,000. Yes. That's like low accidents and then like no accidents. Yes. So then the rest, is, there's very low probability, but I mean, we see that the expected like value, is that what it stands for, right? Expected value, you're right. right. Yeah, yeah. That's, I mean, that's like 1,100, it, it makes sense. The majority of their customers Majority. Only getting, you know. You're right. The vast majority is either getting zero or two, a little people getting 2,000. But then these drag that a little higher. Right. Because you'd think the 70% is grabbing the number and making it very low, that average. But yeah, you have these 10,000. Every now and then, people are filed for $10,000. Every now and then, it happens. A, a student of mine that I tutor, actually, his friend was driving his car. I found it yesterday. And the, the, it was just a fluke. They just ran red light. They didn't see the light, and they got hit, and they flipped. Shit. It was crazy. It was crazy. Yeah. Wow. And so they had to file through insurance. The police came, took pictures, everything. And so it's like those few people that get ten thousand dollars. That money comes from all the people who get nothing. Right. You know, that's how insurance works, basically. Let's try more examples. It helps with examples. 